um, a fairly careful approach as it gets close to this uh, huge international space station. Once it gets to about the 15 meter point, the crew is going to uh, call down with another report of uh, how things are lining up with what is expected of HTV versus uh, where it actually is. Its final stopping point is going to be a distance of 10 meters or 33 feet. This is where it will be inside what is known as the capture box. This is where Katie Coleman will take over operations of the station's robotic arm to reach out and grab on to a uh, grapple fixture on the outside of HTV. And then she will begin the process of uh, maneuvering HTV around to line it up with the bottom side of the Harmony node. That is the ultimate destination for HTV later on this morning. That is the northern coast of Africa coming into view. The space station and HTV are uh, flying at an altitude of about 220 miles now heading down toward the southeast. The team here in Mission Control are confirming that HTV has arrived at a distance of about 15 meters, which is 49 feet away from the International Space Station. The crew should be calling down here shortly with a report of uh, what they're seeing on board. Mission Station for a uh, quarter of the report. We're ready to copy. So camera 37 MBS, the white strobe is within the global corridor limit. Vehicle size matches the vehicle outline. White strobe position is about a third of the diameter starboard of the strobe tracker and strobe tracker position is about slightly aft of the Crowbar Corridor Center. I'll copy for 37. We copy all for 37. And uh, camera three, the white strobe is within the Crowbar Corridor limit. Vehicle size matches the vehicle outline. White strobe is about a third of a diameter forward of the stroke tracker, and the stroke tracker position is slightly aft, slightly starboard of the Crowbar Corridor Center. Hello, we copy all. We appreciate the detailed call, and that is consistent with everything we're seeing, so we're happy. Thank you. HTV and the International Space Station continuing to head over uh, Africa. That is the Nile River there coming into view. These two spacecraft are going to be flying over parts of the Sudan, Ethiopia, and Somalia as they head out over the Indian Ocean.